Hey everybody, this is Lucas here, and I know you were expecting to see a Q&A live stream today, but I'm afraid it's canceled because my dad says the live stream is basically unsafe. So yeah, I decided to do another Sonic Boom episode review. So this time, we're going to be doing a review on a Sonic Boom episode called Can a Evil Villain Crash on Your Couch for a Few Days? It's a pretty long title. Anyways, let's start the plot. So one stormy night in Tails' house, Sonic and Tails are sleeping until Sonic is awoken by a repeated knock at the door. Then turns out to be Dr. Eggman, who pleads for shelter for a few days. With the excuse of his fortress needed needing to be repaired after suffering damage from the storm. Sonic is at first skeptical, thinking that Eggman may attack them during his stay, but drops the issue when Eggman considers stripping his clothes to prove that he is unarmed. It's kinda weird. Sonic reluctantly agrees, on the conditions that he only stays for a few days and that it is only him. S excuse me. The doctor promises only to instantly reveal that Orbot and Cubot are with him too. The next morning, a sleepy Sonic lets Amy, Knuckles, and Sticks into the house, where the three are shocked to see that Eggman is staying with them. Sonic explains the situation to them before being interrupted by Eggman calling for his breakfast. Tails delivers it only for Eggman to harshly criticize it. Meanwhile, Sticks is suspicious of over Eggman's stay. Claiming that he will unleash a 50 foot elaborate but Now I see why I hate Queen because she's so crazy. Amy, however, defends the doctor, explaining that if they do not show him sympathy, they will be no better than he is. Amy then tries to explain Eggman's point of view to everyone else, only to end up annoying the doctor. While Tails also agrees to keep him around, claiming that he might not be so bad after all. As the day passes, Dr. Eggman proves to be a challenging roommate. His obnoxious actions range from, range from randomly starting pillow fights to snoring loudly and laughing maniac maniacally in his sleep to even putting all the food in a fridge into padlocked containers. Finally, Sonic and Tails get tired of it and plot to kick Eggman out of the house. Amy defends Eggman yet again, claiming that they have a communication problem, and they, that they should talk things out instead. Just really, Amy? Over an arch nemesis? Over Sonic's arch nemesis, really? Really? I wonder why I hate Amy so much. Despite their protests, Sonic and Tails have a roommate meeting where Amy tells everyone to say whatever they have to share with each other. Sonic is brutally honest towards Eggman, causing Eggman to burst into tears and attempts to guilt trip them. Amy convinces Sonic to give Eggman a second chance, and he begrudgingly agrees, I think that's how you say it, provided that he tries to improve. As another day passes, Eggman makes repeated efforts to improve, till he forces Sonic and Tails to keep playing a board game and watch the comedy chimp show with them despite the late hour, leaving them exhausted by morning. Styx claims that the fatigue is another part of Eggman's evil schemes. While Amy defends Eggman once more, Eggman reveals that he had lied about his fortress being destroyed, that he intentionally exhausted Sonic and Tails to the point where they could not defeat him and summoned his obl obliterator uh, bot. Sorry about that, guys. He then orders obliterator bot to destroy the group, though the robot misinterprets this as an order to destroy Eggman's lair and heads off, ignoring Team Sonic. A distraught Eggman begs Sonic to stop his creation, who only agrees to help so that Eggman can go home and not live with him anymore. At the fortress, the team arrive in the Eggmobile and Tails play him respectively, and agree for Sonic and Tails to press two kill switches within the lair to stop the robot where everyone else distracts it. 
Despite Sonic and Tails' drowsiness, they managed to follow through with this plan with some help from Eggman, and destroyed the mech. <coughs> Excuse me. But the fortress is turned into a smoking ruin, ruin godless. A day later, while Team Sonic is lo lounging at the beach, Eggman arrives and requests the hospitality again. However, Sonic calls Eggman back to the ruins of his lair. Amy, who followed, tries to start a the therapy session with Eggman, only for him to run off screaming. That's basically what I do when Amy, like, when, like teaches me something. I just, like, run off. I'm just like, run out of my house. They maybe was there too. Anyways, well, this episode was pretty good. Overall, this episode was pretty good. Even though Amy's... thing was kind of pointless, it was still a pretty good episode. Um, well... Yeah, I'm not going to give a rating on this one. I'm just going to let the review speak to itself. Again, thanks to the Sonic News Network for getting me the information. So, um, be sure to check them out if you have the time. So, yeah. Um, see you all in my next Sonic Boom episode review. See ya.